South Africa, the southernmost country on the continent of Africa, is known for its differing topography, natural beauty, and cultural diversity. Having a population of about 60 million, it is classified as one of the most developed countries in Africa with a fast-growing economy and home to one of the best infrastructures on the continent. The country's unique combination of a highly developed first world economic infrastructure and a huge emergent market economy has given rise to a strong entrepreneurial and dynamic investment environment. As a result of this, South Africa has for long remained the gateway to emerging markets in Africa. In this video, we'll be looking at the 10 completed projects in South Africa that shook the world. But first, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and turn notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Number 10. Johannesburg International Transport Interchange The project is one of Johannesburg's largest infrastructure developments. At 50,000 square meters, the state-of-the-art interchange is an international long-distance and cross-border transport hub in the CBD. It is said to be a commuter-friendly and the largest public transport facility for travelers on the African continent. Johannesburg Development Agency, on behalf of the city's transport department, actually undertook the construction works. Construction began in 2014 and was scheduled for completion in 2018, but tenders were cancelled due to non-performance and it was eventually completed in October 2021. The transport interchange features a bus terminal for cross-border buses as well as ranking and holding space for 800 taxis, ranking space for 158 taxis and ranking for 20 buses. There is a clear electronic signage, CCTV cameras throughout the facility as well as facilities for the disabled. The Advanced Access Control, which features a dual authentication, including license plate recognition, is one of the innovations set to ensure that vehicles are operating safely and legally. The latest technology in green building design has also been incorporated throughout the facility, including extensive solar panels. The interchange will see about 1,500 travelers a day arrive or depart to destinations in the Southern African Development Community regions due to its easy access to transport routes. Only vehicles that have the correct operating licenses and vehicle fitness certificates will be allowed to operate in the facility. The facility is designed not only for travelers and their needs, but for operators as well, with restrooms and showers. There is a clear static and electronic signage indicating the arrival and departure of buses and minibus taxis, booking offices, as well as a website and app listing bus and minibus taxi services and schedules. Number 9. The 100 MW Cario Shock Solar One Project The Cario Shock power plant was commissioned on November 30, 2018. The thermodynamic solar power plant has a capacity of 100 megawatts. It produces energy from solar heat, which it is also able to store. The plant is a project within the framework of Renewable Energy Independent Power Producer Program, which defines the new focus of South Africa's public policy on access to energy. The Carol Shock power plant captures energy from the sun through mirrors and then uses it to heat a fluid to a high temperature. The process drives a steam turbine which converts energy into electricity. The plant also has a storage system that allows it to provide electricity after sunset. The structure is located in the city of Uppington, 30 kilometers from Northern Cape Province, South Africa. In this area, solar radiation levels are high and are set for energy production. The construction of the plant cost $180 million. At the origin of the project, Mvelo co-developed it with Industrial Development Corporation and Cobra, a Spanish energy company of the ACS Group. The other shareholders of the project are Community Trust, Public Investment Corporation, and Hosken Consolidated Investment. Number 8. Clipsprut Bridge 
Situated in Soweto Ward 11 and 17, the bridge replaced a culvert bridge, which flooded yearly during the rainy season. Construction activities began in January 2018. The project entailed the construction of two kilometers of roads into the township, side drains, gabions, stone pitching, pedestrian walkways to accommodate pedestrian traffic, and concreted curbs along bridge and fuchsia roads. The project created employment opportunities for community members. Besides the main contractors, 54 EPWP work opportunities were created and 14 local SMMEs were appointed. Just like many other projects, there were some challenges causing delays in the completion of the project. Some of the challenges experienced were the continuous theft and incidents of crime on site. The project experienced exceptionally high amounts of rain during January and February 2019. Community strikes and complaints about the closure of the road and disputes about the amount of labor being used on site also contributed in delays. However, the executive mayor of the city of Johannesburg, Councillor Herman Mashaba, together with the member of Mayoral Community for Transport, Councillor Nonlanla Makuba, officially opened the newly reconstructed Clipsprut Bridge over the Clipsprut River and the 300-meter new road adjacent to the bridge on the 25th of July 2019. Number 7. Largest Solar Farm in Southern Hemisphere the largest solar farm located in the very sunny town of Deir in South Africa is actually the largest solar power plant located in the Southern Hemisphere and the Middle East. The solar farm was inaugurated in 2016 and has an installed capacity of 175 megawatts. The entire solar farm facility is spread over a surface of almost 500 hectares and consists of a number of 700,000 solar panels, but the number of panels will be increased in the near future. The farm was constructed in two phases, with the first being completed in August 2014. That initial phase provided 85.26 megawatts of generating capacity, and the second phase was completed less than two years later, providing a further 90 megawatts of power. At the peak of its construction, the project created 2,000 jobs. During operation, the farm supported 100 permanent jobs. When it was completed, Solar Capital's The R Solar Farm was the biggest by capacity in the Southern Hemisphere. The solar power plant was built by Solar Capital, which is a subsidiary of Felon Energy Group Limited and is run by Pascal Felon as founder and executive chairman. Number 6. Kangnas Wind Farm The Kangnas Wind Farm is a 140.3 MW onshore wind power project. It is located in Northern Cape, South Africa. It has been developed in a single phase. The project construction commenced in 2018 and subsequently entered into commercial operation in November 2020. This project is beneficial in addressing the ongoing and increasing need for clean electricity in South Africa and also positively impacts the country's economy and people, with a particular focus on communities within a 50km radius of the wind farm. Kangna's wind farm boasts excellent wind resource and is ideally located close to the National Road, which assisted with delivery during the extensive wind turbine transportation program. The site has favorable construction conditions and has straightforward electrical connections into the ESCOM grid. Kangna's wind farm generates around 513,200 megawatt hour of clean renewable energy per year. This is enough clean green electricity to power up to 154,625 South African homes. The wind farm eliminates approximately 550,000 tons of carbon emissions each year when compared to a traditional fossil fuel power plant. In addition to zero carbon emissions and reduced use of fossil fuels, the country benefits from almost zero water consumption that is required during the generation process. The power generated from the project is sold to ESCOM Holdings SOC under a power purchase agreement for a period of 20 years. Number 5. 
Ivory Park Gravel Roads Makeover. The project was located in Ivory Park in Rabi Ridge, 40 kilometers north of the Johannesburg CBD and east of Midran CBD. The community of Ivory Park and Rabi Ridge were using gravel roads to access their properties. This was inconvenient during rainy and windy conditions. The roads were characterized by mud, storm water ponding in rainy periods and dust during windy periods. The upgrades which started in June 2018 along Haile Selassie and Masimbambisani streets entailed the resurfacing of 640 meters of road, the installation of 40 meters of storm water and the cleaning of 200 meters of storm water pipes. Fagama Civils was appointed as the project contractor, while consultancy firm Civec was tasked to design and supervise the construction of the project. The road project saw approximately 21 laborers from the local community employed, while nine local small, medium-sized and micro-enterprises were appointed as subcontractors in Word 78. The mayor affirmed that more local employment and business opportunities will follow in the Ward 110 and 111 upgrades. The objective of the gravel roads upgrade was to provide all-weather access by removing dust and mud nuisance during the dry and wet seasons respectively. Number 4. CSIR Photovoltaic Solar Plant the ground-mounted CSIR or CISIR photovoltaic solar plant in South Africa is situated at the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research in Pretoria. The construction of the project began in June 2015 and initial testing completed the same year. The project forms part of the CSIR's aim to run its Pretoria campus fully on renewable energy and therefore move totally off-grid. The PV plant is a single-axis tracker and can rotate the PV modules to track the path of the sun, thus enabling it to yield more than 20% of additional solar energy a year than a similarly-sized fixed ground-mounted PV plant. Locally based renewable energy services and solutions provider, Jui Renewable Energy spearheaded the engineering, procurement and construction of the plant. The solar plant is set to generate more than 3.5 million kilowatt hours in the first three years and according to Austin, Dewey Managing Director, the initiative will also enable the CSIRS Pretoria campus to become an effective small-scale producer of its own electricity. Number 3. Four-Way Small Expansion the mall, which was built over 23 years ago, sits on the outskirts of the Johannesburg metropolis, putting it in the prime spot between Rodeport and Sandton. The expansion of the mall started in 2016, although the planning started more than 10 years ago. It was to open mid-2018, but due to project delays, it only opened in August 2019. The addition to the existing 87,149 square meters construction makes Four Ways Mall the largest mall in South Africa. The expansion used the area's existing footprint but joined the existing mall with the game center as well as the smaller Four Ways View Center. The renovation works entail doubling the size of the mall from 85,000 square meters to 178,000 square meters making it the largest shopping center in the country, overtaking Pretoria's Menlin Park at 169,000 square meters, Santon City, the 131,000 square meters mall of Africa in Waterfall, and the 166,636 square meter gateway theater of shopping in Durban. Four Ways Mall now has more than 215 new brands and stores added to the retail mix, offering a staggering total of 450 shops. In addition, the mall now provides parking for more than 8,000 vehicles, around its 52 entrances. Colorful Note will help shoppers navigate through the maze of stores. The mall boasts a majestic center court area, four levels high, that brings the entire shopping center together. The center has 52 entrance points to the new mall for both vehicles and pedestrians. 
the interior of the existing four ways mall also got a facelift to match the new development. There is also an underground taxi terminal, which will take the congestion off William Nicole while giving four ways commuters a safe space to catch taxis. According to Accelerate Property Fund's chief executive, Michael Georgiou, the master plan for Four Ways Mall complements plans by the local council to position the Four Ways area as a new central business district. Number 2. M2 Highway Reconstruction the M2 motorway, which is more than 60 years old, carries approximately 10,500 vehicles per hour in both directions during peak hours. The M2 was closed between the Crown Interchange and the Maritzburg Street on February 28, 2019 for rehabilitation. The closure was necessitated after continuous monitoring and the bridge visual conditions assessment which indicated that the structural integrity of the concrete elements was severely reduced. The safety of the Selby and Carson bridges also could not be guaranteed. The scope of work at the Selby Bridge entailed the demolition and reconstruction of four field concrete columns and column heads installation of new waterproofed bridge joints and waterproofing of the existing bridge deck. The field columns and column heads were due to the ingress of water into the concrete structures, which led to the formation of cracks. Number 1. S-Bent Wall Mural Project Johannesburg's largest mural, around 500 meters long and varying heights from 3 to 8 meters tall and a total of just over 3,000 square meters, installed along one of the busiest transport routes in Johannesburg, was painted as a tribute to the bus boycotts. It also tells the story of the evolution of transport along this historic route. The route is one of the oldest routes of the city, historically connecting different parts of the city to the city center where job opportunities were. It still does so, now known as one of the Corridors of Freedom. The project included months of community workshops, sharing skills with the public to get community contribution, a lot of which was replicated in the final mural. The 14 artists who worked at the facility were Answer 91, Breeze Yoko, Dre Doctor, Fia One, Mr. S. K. Rasik, Jester, Maja Maljevic, Mars, Main, Page 33, Plank, Sandile Radebe, Vivian Kohler, and Zesta Online. Thanks for watching, and that concludes our coverage on the 10 completed projects in South Africa that shook the world. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and also share it with your friends.